everybody seems to be a fashion critic these days, but sometimes the fashion police can be absolutely savage. But Sean Strecker found a group of designers in St. Pete who want you to call their designs trash. Plastic bags and old newspaper. Not something you would expect to see in a fashion show. I'm blown away by how creative and amazingly talented people are and how they think outside the box, how they repurpose things. That's the idea behind Trash in Fashion. Take old, discarded items and reinvent them into something completely new. This is um, a piece from one of our shows, all made from different and old decks of cards. So we always like to kind of create something different outside of the box. Marina Williams is the brain behind Trash in Fashion. Now in its 10th year, this year's show will feature 30 designers who pull their inspiration from the world around them. My dad had just moved here and he had a ton of bubble wrap and so I just took um, some bubble wrap and duct tape and called it a day. <laughs> Each look must be made up of at least 75% recycled or upcycled material. It takes a lot of time, it's a lot of work and like things, kinks to work out, but it always works out in the end and I'm always super happy with the end product. And that end product is sure to make you say, wow. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yes, I love so this, So cool, Sean. right? Yeah, and they, they actually got me in on it. Let me see. But here I come. Okay, so, yeah, I, they gave me a vest, and it. the vest was made out of old ties, which Ooh, they... Ooh, you so, better yeah, look at me. Uh, they told me I had to be serious. No smiling when you're walking down the runway. So oh I try my, my best. But hey, Trash in Fashion, it is Saturday, starts at 8 o'clock at Art Pool, which is in downtown St. Did Pete. you have a favorite look? It, uh, you know what? Every time I saw a new one, I was like, oh, this is neat. Everyone has its own unique... I guess, uh, personality. Yes. Good answer, Sean. 